Hello everyone, I'm Becca. Welcome back to my salon. This week's challenge is Iconic French, sponsored by Orly. We are tasked to make a set of 10 nail tips with a French manicure inspired by an icon that inspires us today. And thinking of a French manicure is kind of like a cuff or collar for the nail. I, I just hit upon someone that is famous for wearing collars. And I picked uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Today is March 15th, her birthday. And this is the set of nails that I came up with. So why don't we take a closer look at these? Here are my materials. Orly generously sent me a Builder in a Bottle kit in 15 colors of their gel polish line. There are three different types of nails in my design. I went with 3D French chevrons on the pinkies, four metallic nails, and four black nails wearing jabots. This is the order I'll go through them in the video and conclude with the portrait. I knew I would have very limited time with my model, so I gave her a complete manicure and applied Freedom Liquid over top of the nails. This makes them super smooth, so after you've sculpted the nails, you can apply pressure around the edge by the cuticle with an orangewood stick, and they'll pop right off. Then file in shape. I was originally going to go with a coffin shape, but the tapered point looked better, in my opinion, with the jabots. I've never tried the 3D French technique before, but I figured a French manicure challenge would be a good enough reason to give it a try. Sculpt the nail very thinly and then put down a base color before adding more product for the apex. The key is to add enough product to form a ledge where you want the color change to occur. Then use a backfill bit along with a hand file to get a very crisp line. Paint the next color fill with product, and then repeat the filing process. It is a tedious process, but at the end you get the thrill of filing down to those crisp lines. And here are the final 3D French nails. The next nails are the metallic scale of justice and judge's gavel nails. We're going to take advantage of the clear builder gel and paint the undersides of these nails so they give some depth. Paint the thumb and middle finger of opposite hands, one pair in shine and the other in luxe. Paint the base of the nail and the edge with black liquid vinyl. Hand paint a pattern of scales on the silver shine nails. And gavels on the gold luxe nails. Now to make the scale and gavel dangles for the thumbnails. Wrap cling film over a bottle top and add builder gel to make a weighing pan. Mark the edge and add three small lengths of chain and secure with builder gel. Sketch out a beam on some nail foil paper, fill it out with builder gel, and then add some metal findings so that it will be a functional scale. Mix shine and liquid vinyl and paint all of the scale parts. Here's a tip if you're working for small pieces that have a jump ring. Take a loop of metal wire and run it through the jump ring to give yourself a handle. Use jump rings to attach the three chains to the end of one of the scale arms. Then drill a hole just above the point of the gold thumbnail and attach the scale. Make the outline of the gavel on the nail foil paper and then balk it out with more builder gel. Paint the recesses in liquid vinyl, cover in lux, and then attach to the silver thumbnail. And here's how the final metallic nails look. The base jabot nails are prepared with a black underside and a white edging. Sculpt a clear support structure to attach the jabots at the nail tips. All of the jabots were sketched on paper and sculpted over cling wrap, and here they are ready for painting. I've chosen five of Justice Ginsburg's collars to represent in this set. This one features her Stell and Dot Pegasus necklace that has black and silver metal feathers. This one features orange and teal inlays, which I picked because it matches my salon color scheme. This one represents her majority collar, which she wears when announcing the opinion of the court and was gifted to her by her law clerks. And this one is her notorious dissenting collar, which she wears to silently express her condemnation. Adhere the jabots onto their clear support structure, attached to the tips, and here are the final nails. Now on to painting the portrait. Clear builder gel really makes this much easier. 
Print out a two scale photo of your subject and make a rectangle of clear gel. Place your rectangle over the printout and trace the outlines. But when there's a detailed section, don't fill in the background. Trace the detail lines on the front of your gel and then flip it over and fill in the background color on the back of the gel. When you're finished with this section, cover with a no wipe top coat. You can continue in this manner, tracing the details of your subject's face and then flip it over to fill in the background without obscuring any of your lines. Working with sheer nude, rosé all day, and first kiss, I was able to hold the portrait up to a light and do my shading from the back. If you are working with shears, make sure to add a layer of white on the back to make sure your colors pop. Carefully add some builder gel to make a frame, and paint it in a mixture of Lux Shine and liquid vinyl. And here's the final portrait piece. And here is the final nail set. Thank you so much, Orly, for letting me honor one of my heroes. Thank you, Nails Magazine. And also thank you for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe, and most importantly, please go vote. The link will be in the description box below when it goes live.